Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you and peace for those who love peace and no peace for the evil one, the Lord he said. Um, you know, every day, we, you know, we suffer, we struggle because we speak to deaf people. Anytime you say to the stupid European, I don't know if you are European or not, it's time for you to be proud because you are European. We say to the stupid European, Islam is dangerous. Islam is terrorism. Can you find me one Islamic country have peace? If they could not have peace in their land, how they will bring peace to your land by bringing the religion of Islam with them? Now, for sure, you know, the same garbage. Not every Muslim is a terrorist. Okay, I, I do not need every Muslim to be a terrorist to be afraid of what Islam will do. They say to you only 10% of those who believe in Muhammad, they are terrorists. 10%? <laughs> that means you have at least a million terrorists in Europe, if you add uh, actually more. In Turkey alone, if every if only 10% of Muslims believe in terrorism, that's mean in Turkey alone we have one million terrorists. Just in Turkey alone. How many millions you have in Europe? They will say to you, okay, well, do you see like do you see every Muslim committing this? But don't you notice that the topic is not the Muslim, the topic is Islam. The topic is not someone who want to go make living, have a family, have a children like everybody. The topic is Islam. So if somebody, if one of them decide to follow the real teaching of Muhammad, he will do what happened just yesterday or the day before. This guy, he do not need a bodyguard. All lawmakers in, in the UK, they don't have bodyguards. They don't carry guns because they live in a land does not require that it's safe but those things is over because if every 100 there is only 10 believe in terrorism and those the number 10 by the way is is the one who came by those who sponsor islam those who support islam they say only only 10 percent this is their numbers The same media, they publish to you every day and other day, a terrorist attack. It's the same media who call anyone to speak against Islam Islamophobic. And not only that, there's many stupid Christians, sorry to say so, they use the word Islamophobic without knowing what the word means. Islamophobic means you are afraid of something is not there. It's meaning you have a phobia. It means you are terrified because you are paranoid, you are stupid. This is what Islamophobic mean. So the same media, the Western, the European, they are number one people in the world who sponsor this idea that anyone who speak against the cult of Muhammad, he is Islamophobic and Islam is peace. Oh, I don't want to remember that word. George Bush, Bill Clinton, Obama. Joe Biden, you know the thing, the Prime Minister of France, the President of France, the Prime Minister of England, the Prime Minister of, no, I mean, you name it. Every scumbag in the world, he repeat the same word, and we ask them for evidence. If Islam is peace, why just yesterday a bomb explode in a mosque? Oh, they are Shia, it's okay. Okay, what about the week before it? More than 200 people died. Uh, so what? Those are not people who represent Islam. Islam is peace. Okay, what about the attack three days ago in Lebanon? Where thousands of Shia and Muslims, they attacked the Christian territory. Oh, but those don't present Islam. Those are wrong Muslims. They have wrong interpretation for Islam. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, what about Saudi Arabia? 
the whole government, your friend who cut hands and killed the one who convert out of Islam. Oh, Saudi Arabia is, <clears throat> uh, I need water, I need water. Sorry, I will answer you. What's wrong with those people? Just this week, they elected United Arab Emirates and Qatar and Iran in the United in the Human Human Rights Council in the United Nations. Do you see how filthy this earth is? Do you see how hypocrite, how stupid money? Just send some checks, and then everybody will be your friend. And those are the rich people. They open their land for every terrorist. You believe it or not? Most of those terrorists who come to England, they are even wanted in Islamic countries because of terrorism. The British people, because they are so cute, they welcome them. You will find that every single big name of terrorism was nesting either in Europe or in America or somewhere in the West. Al Khomeini. He lived many, many, many years in France and he got paid salary, health insurance, free apartment, and even protection. Osama bin Laden was the hero of America. You go right now, search Osama bin Laden, a hero. Washington Post. <laughs> Osama, I will do it right now. Hold on. Bin Laden, a hero. <laughs> the terrorist, just because he was killing a Russian, he's a hero. As long as he kill Russian, I mean, he's a good guy. And not only that, America is the one who sent him weapon. And there's tons of videos. About Osama bin Laden, the amazing man who left his wealth to defend the truth. Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> oh boy. I'm not sure which which uh, uh, I think it was Washington Post. If if anyone can find it, just let me know so I can show it on the screen. And not only that, today Joe Biden he is meeting with Taliban. And not only that. They brought 100,000 Afghani, but they forgot the American in Afghanistan. I mean, have you ever heard? I mean, you see, when I was in the Middle East, I used to think about Western people as the most advanced, the most smart. I say, look, look at their cities, look at their airplanes, look at their weapon, look at, look, 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 look. And then when I came to the West, I found that Westerns are the most dummy, idiot people ever. They were able to take 100,000, maybe more, maybe, maybe, at least maybe 10 or 20% of them, uh, they are terrorists. And not only that, many of them, they used to work for Taliban. When the American came, they start working for America. But they forgot to take the American. For sure, we take the Afghani first, you know, not the American. Have you ever heard of a stupidity like this? 
and they put in the airplane whoever wanna come. Same for England. Oh, don't forget. And now they are trying to convert your children's. So your children's will go in the street and shoot you by a ball. This is a filthy creature who converted to Islam. And after he converted to Islam, he decided to be a messenger. Hello, I am a messenger. I come with a warning. Is this really what you want? Exactly, is that what do you want? So the European, they accomplish a lot of the great things. As an example, nude beaches. As an example, a nude counselor for more than 20 years in Germany. Imagine a nudist became their counselor. So what do you expect? Germany is screwed. And the funny, they called the party of Germany Christian party. Look how Christian it is. What is the future of Europe? I believe that everything happened for a reason. And I know if you are European, you will be upset from what I will say. But I believe that whatever happened to Europe, European, they deserve it. You see, in, in, in Arabic, we have a, a, a say where it's like there's two guys went across the river and they you know they use the old method uh, uh, to make like a cushion where they can swim in the top of it. So they use the belly of an uh, animal. You know, they, 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 they put air on it and they tie it up and they swim with it. So when they were swimming, one of them, his, the belly he used to put air on it, start leaking from where he tied up. So he said, I'm drowning, I'm drowning. The other guy, he said to him, your hand is the one who tied it and your mouth is the one who blew it. Don't blame me. You are drowning because of your mouth and because of your hand. Therefore, I don't feel sorry for you. They fought the Bible in their schools. In France, they send an officer from the government to watch what the priest he say in the church. What the priest he will say in the church? Like what exactly you are worried from? Can you believe it? Perverted government of France. And now France is in chaos. There's territory, nobody even can go there. Did you watch the videos about the Shishanian fighting with the Moroccan using heavy, heavy, heavy weapon in France and the police don't dare even to get a close? Sooner or later, they will make a civil war in France, in Germany, in England, and they will establish an Islamic state or they will seek for it. And then what will happen to you? What will happen is exactly what happened to the stupid Lebanese. The stupid Lebanese Christians, they open their land for everybody. Come, it's Paris. Everybody is welcome. 600,000 fighters from the terrorists, Yasser Arafat, they came. The 600,000, they became 2 million. Turkish, come over, stay here. Muslim Sunni, Muslim Shia, come from Iran, come from everywhere. And this is Lebanon today. This is the future of Europe. Actually, not the future. All of us, we saw 
how a bunch of Muslims attacking a YouTuber. He is a Muslim too, just because he said something in YouTube they did not like. His name is Mufti Layth. And what the government did? Nothing. They did not even find who is the one who did it, even though they have their videos, they have their names, they have everything. But nobody is going to jail. Praise be to Allah. This is your future. This is tens of thousands of Hezbollah coming to Christian area to beat them up. Imagine you wake up in the morning, you find thousands of people who supposed to striking against the government and okay you strike against the government why you want to beat the Christians what is the point so they come by thousands and no police can stop them and no army can stop them and they are beating whoever see in the street they start beating it up and they start breaking cars and they start going inside the apartment, beating whatever in, in, in their way. And there's no man can fight all those. Look at this. I mean, later you will see tens of thousands. <laughs> those are the other side of the street are the Christian young men. But what they can do? I mean, look at this. And now the guns have started. Those are the, Muslim, the Shia, you know, shooting at the Christians. And look. This is the future, my friend, of Europe. And then the Christian, they fought back and they beat the hell of them. Which means Hezbollah, they lost badly. Badly. Not only they lost. And the second the Christian, they fight back, they are bad Christians. And not only that, every Christian will say to you, oh, this is not Christianity, we should not do that. Why? Why Christian cannot defend themselves? People coming by tens of thousands with heavy weapon, RBG. Look, look at the weapon with them. They are not coming with like guns, you know. They are coming with RBG. They are coming with BKSA. They are coming with very heavy, heavy duty army weapon this is the future of europe you might say that will never happen i say to you if you say so you are a stupid fool this is what happened to cyprus this is what happened to lebanon this is what happened to syria this is what happened to Iraq. This is what happened to Libya. This is what happened to Yemen. This is what happened to Egypt. This is what happened to Afghanistan. This is what happened in Pakistan. This is what happened in Indonesia. Actually, there, there is one country. The only countries they don't they don't have a let us say problem is the one protected by the USA Army. The second the USA Army leave, things is messed up. And if you defend yourself, or if you say something negative about Islam, they will say, well, this guy is Islamophobic. Your government is sponsored this idea. YouTube supported, Facebook supported, Twitter supported. 
And if, like, hold on, like this guy, he will start shooting people by arrow. And he said it clearly, I'm doing it because I'm a Muslim. Nobody speak about hate crimes. But if this video is made by a Christian and then he go and shoot in the street, you will see the whole world talking about it. But we Christian, we don't do that. This is not Christianity. And we should not do that. We should not go and shoot Muslims. You're allowed to defend yourself. But anyone who go in the street and shoot people for no reason. If somebody shooting at you, I can say, well, you have the right to defend yourself. Otherwise, you have no right to kill. Just wait, and they will say that this guy, he was suffering from mental illness. In a magical way, things change. If you remember, a few years ago, there was a fire in a refugee center. And the German newspaper, the British newspaper, the French newspaper start talking about the fascist German who attacked the refugee. Now there is fascist there, I agree. But fascism is Islam too. That's why the fascist Muslims, they joined Hitler in his war. This is why you will see every single house in the Middle East have the book of Hitler. And it's printed by the money is sponsored by European Union or United Nations. Specifically, you can find the book everywhere in Gaza. He is their hero. So when this fire happened in the refugee house, they claim that the German fascist, they did it. And the newspaper, they make articles about the expand of fascism and the German hateful people and how we can fight fascism. And later we found that the one who did it, he was a Syrian Muslim refugee. The second they discovered that the one who did that is a Syrian refugee, suddenly he is a person struggling with stress. Look, look how it changed. A day before, the one who burned the refugee camp is a terrorist, is a filthy, is a fascist, is a Nazi, is a Hitler. The day after, the second they found out that it was a Syrian refugee who tried to burn the camp and burn everybody inside it, suddenly he is just a poor person, need help. 